Ladies and gentlemen, or however you self-identify on the gender identity spectrum, please welcome the lovely Glamour Woman of the Year, Laverne Cox. Congratulations, wow, Laverne. Man. Thank you so much, Katie. Now you have something to put next to your framed Time Magazine cover story, right? <laughs> what do you think Laverne has done for the transgender community when you see her and, and what she represents? She's given a face and a body and talent and strength and courage uh, to something that to most people was really just an idea that they had in their minds. They didn't have, they didn't have anybody tangible that they knew. And now they know somebody. They have somebody mm. in their home who they watch and watch her story. Um, that's always transformative connection, connection between human beings. You know, Sophia is a, a really complex, enormous character that has arbitrary qualities too. There's parts of her you don't like. Why was it important for you to have Jody present you this award? I know she directed an episode that was really critical to your character. And working with you was really the highlight, um, really, of my career so Aww. far. You no, I'm 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 serious. You have. <laughs> so we just like say this to your face, but I literally studied your films. I would st I studied um, frame by frame of how you arc a scene, how you um, engage with the camera, and getting to work with you on the episode that I got nominated for an Emmy for, um, that we both got nominated for Emmys for this year. Um, it changed my life. Oh my goodness, yeah. I said I wasn't gonna get emotional. Um, <laughs> it's hard not to when you're Glamour Woman of the Year. Would you both say that we have come a long way when it comes to opening doors to gay and trans people on screen, which I think is sometimes a barometer of society, if not a forecast of what's possible? For, for, for gay and lesbian folks, I think we really have come quite, quite a long way. And the, the overwhelming support for marriage equality all over the country. For trans folks, I mean, certainly we, we have a moment in terms of representation that is unprecedented. Um, but a lot of trans folks can't even get a job, for example, if you're being trans. Experience discrimination in health care. Um, trans youth are being bullied disproportionately. We have a very, very long way to go in terms of public policy. What do you think, Jody? I, I look at uh, the way the world is now vis-a-vis -vis LGBTQ and I just can't explain to my children what it used to be. You know, I can't explain the same way that you can't explain to your children what it was like when it wasn't integrated, you know, and when, when things were separate. And um, you can't explain that to them because they don't have a visceral understanding of it anymore. I think we just don't have a very complicated understanding of gender in general <laughs> in, in right. this country, right? I mean, at the end of the day, the gender binary model that we all exist under actually negatively affects everybody. Particularly the transgender community, Absolutely. because you've spoken a lot in the past about the high suicide rates among transgender. Forty-one percent of, of trans folks report having attempted suicide compared to one percent of the rest of the population. It is a state of emergency. Really, and I think so much of our media over the past 61 years has contributed to folks thinking that, that it is okay to um, uh, make fun of transgender people and then violence becomes okay, discrimination becomes okay, but it's not okay. If someone was to say, who inspires you, who would you say? My mom, who I my shouted mom. out That's on stage. That's what I was going to say. But really, my mom just gave me this amazing template. She raised two kids by herself. She often mm -hmm. worked two or three jobs. I mean, there was one moment when she, back in, um, when I was a kid, where um, there was a white, I live in Alabama, there was a white woman who was promoted ahead of her and who didn't have nearly the experience that she had, and she sued, and she won. That's the person who, who raised me, so. Yeah. Yeah. Integrity and strength, you know. Those and are all mom. of the honorees tonight, I think, is, is a combination of integrity and strength. That's the thing that stands. I think it's really about listening to yourself. There's, there is this, it's very sort of Oprah-esque, but there is this internal compass. And I've made a lot of decisions in my life because like, something in here was telling me mm -hmm. that this is not the way to go, I need to go this way. And so to really listen to that and, and try a lot of things and don't be afraid to make mistakes. I believe that there is hope, and this moment gives me so much hope. Thank you so much, Glamour Magazine. Thank you, everyone.